Melinda Haynes, license number 102308. One of the most common reasons why children come into the therapeutic um, process, in my opinion and what I've seen, is that a parent is seeing some kind of issues with little junior. Little junior might be displaying um, behaviors at school. They're having trouble with um, peers, making friends, keeping friends. They can't follow a direction. They argue with everything. They throw big tantrums that last a long time, sometimes maybe hours. Their tantrums are, are intense. They can't get anything done. They're, they're, um, they won't do their homework, so on and so forth. Okay, so parent says, ah, little junior's having a problem. Here, I'm not sure what's wrong with little junior. Can you please help us? I don't like to just fix kids because I just don't think that the child should be identified as the patient and kind of labeled as, you know, you're the problem of the family or you're the one with the problem because children will typically use their behavior as a language, as a way of saying, you know, hey, I've got stuff going on or hey, there's something going on in the family that we need to address. So I try to incorporate, you know, as much as I can, the, the parent to see what's going on. Well, here's a pattern that I've noticed over like the years that I've been doing this. I've noticed that the parents have developed some kind of ineffective parenting relationship with their own parent. And not to say that it's the parent's fault, okay? And I don't even want to blame the generation before that or anything. It's, it's sometimes we just get stuck in intergenerational uh, transition of, of problems. And that's just kind of how it goes. There's actually an entire theory in psychology and in um, therapy related to intertransitional transmission. So um, basically what happens is we've got a parent who maybe has, you know, they're, they're codependent typically, they're either codependent or they're enmeshed with their own parent. So they're over here running around trying to take care of this parent, still as an adult trying to earn the love of their parent. Okay, and we're talking about people, you know, maybe in their 20s, 30s, 40s, they're still trying to earn the love of their parent. And they're still in this pattern and behavior of rescuing the parent, caring for the parent, being the parent to the parent. Well, what happens then is that, you know, as a parent, now they have children, of course, because they're a parent, and they're, the, the kid gets stuck sometimes in between the parent and then the grandparent. And so you see the child taking on the anxiety of the parent related to the relationship with the grandparent. So the, the way that we can fix this is setting healthy boundaries with our own parents as adults. And it's hard to do because we've been stuck in this pattern since probably conception of being trained to be you know, codependent on, on the parent, be enmeshed with the parent, provide um, love and care and nurturing for the parent. And then what, what are we teaching our kids, right? So little junior then is stuck in this dynamic, this family dynamic where they see, you know, or he, junior in this case, sees mom or dad freaking out, stressing out, trying to, you know, be in the sandwich kind of thing where they're taking care of their own kids, taking care of their parents, even when their parents are still able to take care of themselves. Okay, we're not talking about elderly parents that are not able to function any longer. We're talking about people that are just grown adults and they're still, you know, using their adult children to get their needs met. Okay, we're talking about this kind of thing. So and when we go and, and set these healthy boundaries, we have to understand that there's going to be a pushback. There's going to be a pushback. If you have been one of those parents and you see your kid now starting to have some behavior problems and you've been a doormat, you know, for the family. You've been the rescuer for the family. You've taken on this role of, you know, oh, just, you know, dump everything on me. I'll, I'll fix it. If you've been that person and you start to say, you know what, guys, you know, that one's your issue and I'm not, I can't own that. I'm sorry. You're going to have to deal with that. When you start doing that, you've got to expect some pushback, but eventually people are going to kind of resettle. They're going to get the idea that, okay, you know, this one has healthy boundaries now. These are things I'm going to have to take care of myself or I've got to go find somebody else to you know get into my dysfunctional pattern so it's kind of a, a lengthy process to go through and I definitely suggest you finding a therapist in your area if you find yourself uh, identifying with any of this information and I want you to please post your comments below subscribe and I appreciate you guys thanks for watching